Have you ever tripped on something and you look down and you didn't see anything? It was like you, you tripped on air. Uh, I'm Tom Webster from Sounds Profitable. And on this week's Data Decoded, I'm going to tell you what you tripped on. But before we get there, I want to talk a little bit about uh, a brand new piece of research that we are putting out next week called The Medium Moves the Message. And it's a comparative study of advertising for the top five advertisers by share of voice in each of three different mediums, radio, television, and podcasting. And in the newsletter yesterday for Sounds Profitable, uh, I, I did a little sneak preview of one of the graphs from that, which showed how people feel about the brands that support their favorite podcasts or for TV viewers, the brands that support their favorite TV shows. Uh, and for radio listeners, the brands that support their favorite radio programs or stations. And what that graph showed was that podcast listeners are far more likely, significantly so, to support the brands that support their favorite podcasts. Now, we may have seen data like this before. In fact, I'm pretty sure I've produced some of that data before uh, in other lives. And often when we talk about this, when we talk about how people respond to podcasting ads, we talk about things that are endemic to podcasting, the pristine environment that we create, the host engagement that people have, or my favorite word in all of podcasting bingo, intimacy. But I don't think that's the full story. In fact, I think that graph from yesterday's Sounds Profitable that shows how much more likely podcast listeners are to support the brands that advertise on their favorite podcasts. I think that's actually a trailing variable of something else of a seismic shift in the audiences for these three media. And that's really going to be the story of next week's webinar. Again, that's going to be on March 22nd. There'll be a link below. And here's what it is. First, I want to tell you what I promised you at the beginning. That time you tripped on something and you looked down and you couldn't see what you tripped on and it looked like air. What you tripped on was an insurance commercial. That's right. We are lousy with insurance commercials. Some of the biggest Advertisers across all three media, Progressive, Geico, Liberty Mutual, all will have a starring role in our webinar next week. But I wanted to show you one slide in particular, uh, and this has to do with one of the brand metrics that we're going to look at for all of the 14 brands in our study, and that is consideration. How likely are you to consider using or purchasing the, this product or service in the future? And on this slide, you see the exclusive audiences for each of these three mediums that we're talking about. The people who are only regular viewers of TV, in other words, they're not regular radio listeners or regular podcast listeners. They are ex exclusive to TV in terms of regular consumption. There's the AM FM only audience. And in other words, they're fairly exclusive to AM FM. They don't listen to TV or podcasts. Uh, and then there's the podcast only exclusive audience. And when you look here, at the percentage of each of these exclusive audiences for both Progressive and Geico, the percentages that are very or somewhat likely to consider or use uh, these insurance brands, you'll see podcasting is much, much higher. Now, that shouldn't be a shock given the data that I just talked about before about supporting the brands that support your favorite podcasts. But here's the thing. If you're a podcast and you take a Geico ad, you are taking the gecko. The insurance companies are not these sort of bastions of magic improvisation and host read ads. You're likely getting the same audio creative that radio has uh, or something very similar to what the TV ads are. So what else is going on here? Yeah, there is something to the environment of podcasting. I'm not trying to, to denigrate that. But there's also something about the audiences, especially the exclusive audiences for these three very different mediums, especially as they're starting to pull apart more and more year after year that's creating this gap. And that is what I'm going to talk about next week on Data Decoded and also in our webinar, The Medium Moves the Message. Uh, there'll be a link to sign up for that webinar next week, uh, March 22nd. So please do that. And I know at the end of these videos, people often say smash like and subscribe, but I'm, I'm not a violent man. So even if you caress like and subscribe, I believe it will still work. I'm Tom Webster for Sounds Profitable. This has been this week's Data Decoded. Thanks for watching.